Everyone's talking about PPE because of the current COVID-19 problem. You might think that because this term has been in news recently, it exclusively refers to surgical masks, gloves, and face shields for healthcare personnel. PPE, otherwise known as personal protective equipment, refers to a wide range of protective gear used in a variety of industries, including the plumbing business. PPE is more important than ever, especially due to all the work-related injuries that take place annually all over the globe. That's why we thought it was not only fitting to delve into PPE that all plumbers must or should never leave the house without. Personal protective equipment, PPE that every plumber needs. After every attempt has been taken to remove or minimize hazards, PPE or personal protective equipment is seen as the final resort in preventing harm to plumbers and heating engineers at work. Providing the appropriate PPE may appear to be a hassle, but it will not only keep your employees safe, it will also reinforce your image with customers as a responsible company that cares about the overall well-being of its employees. Now, there are various PPE essentials that all plumbers should be using and implementing throughout their day-to-day -day work. Obviously, this doesn't always happen and that is where serious injuries can come in. Here are a few essential protective equipment you should have in your toolkit on the daily. Face and eye protection. First up on our list and pretty obvious is face and eye protection. Spectacles, safety goggles, and full face shields are all important protection gear for a plumber to consider when working on the job. When working with power tools, this type of safety equipment is widely employed. This safety equipment aids the plumber in doing the job properly and efficiently. Furthermore, the plumber will do the job on schedule. This will provide homeowners with peace of mind, allowing them to focus on their fields of expertise. Hand and skin protection. Plumbing projects almost always necessitate the use of one's hands. Many incidents of hand injuries have recently been recorded as a result of a lack of hand protective gear. A plumber is also susceptible to a variety of occupational skin disorders, including skin cancer, dermatitis, and other serious skin injuries. These disorders are expensive because they necessitate a high level of medical care. The most prevalent component of the body involved in plumbing work is the hands. Hand gloves are therefore necessary since they reduce the danger of hand and skill illnesses. For plumbers, there are various types of gloves that can be used as PPE. Cut-resistant gloves, rubber gloves, heat-resistant gloves, and chainsaw gloves are examples of these sorts. When a plumber is working with hot materials, electricity, or slippery objects, gloves are required. Slip-resistant footwear should also be worn and is a must-have for every plumber since its puddles and standing water can be dangerous. Furthermore, by wearing shoes or boots with impact-resistant toes and metal inserts, careful plumbers can minimize accidents from punctures and fallen equipment. Protection for your head Next up, protection for your head is essential at any job or trade site. Helmets are essential at a plumbing job site because they protect workers from flying or falling materials. Some hard helmets now come with extras like ear muffs and shields thanks to advances in technology. To avoid hassles, a plumber should consider purchasing a well-fitting safety helmet. Hard helmets that are either little or too large should not be worn. Severe head injuries might result from falling or flying materials, costing a plumber a lot of money in the long term. As a result, purchasing an appropriate protective helmet is a wonderful option. Respiratory and Ear Protection Toxic chemicals are frequently produced at plumbing sites. Respiratory protection equipment, such as respirators, is designed to keep a plumber safe from fumes, dust, and other potentially harmful substances. In regions where the air is contaminated, respiratory protection is essential. Additionally, noise pollution at plumbing sites has the potential to cause irreversible hearing loss. Working with power tools, for example, saws and drills, which produce sharp noises and can damage eardrums over time, cause hearing loss in 48% of plumbers, according to a World Health Organization survey. Earplugs are recommended for technicians who will be exposed to noise levels greater than 90 dB for an extended period of time, while earmuffs provide even more protection. Hearing protection equipment such as earplugs and earmuffs is commonly used in plumbing operations. Earmuffs are effective in preventing high-frequency noise, whereas earplugs are effective in lowering low-frequency noise. Disinfectant slash hand sanitizer. Given how frequently many plumbers come into contact with raw sewage, it's tough to exaggerate the significance of keeping your hands clean. Any viruses or germs you come into contact with will promptly be eliminated by industrial grade antiseptic. Furthermore, rather than depending on common household cleaners, industrial disinfectants that target blood-borne pathogens provide significantly better protection against fungus, viruses, and bacteria. Decontamination of tools and equipment is also possible with these disinfectants. Hazards of plumbing jobs Working as a plumber entails a variety of risks, including exposure to toxic materials such as chemicals and raw sewage, as well as physical harm from working in awkward positions for long periods of time 
or lifting large objects. Falls from heights, as well as injuries caused from exposure to electricity, noise, or severe temperatures may be a risk for plumbers working on new projects. How else is safety insured on job sites? Plumbing contractors, in addition to the PPE they wear for various aspects of the job, take a number of other precautions to ensure their safety. Plumbers learn about the specific safety concerns associated with their job during their training, as well as the precautions they must take to protect themselves. They may be required to learn particularly precise safety precautions in some circumstances, such as working with asbestos. It's also critical that they keep their environment and power tools in good operating order and make sure they're powered down properly before putting them away. Plumbers also attempt to shift the boat at least every 30 minutes, even when working in the most painful of positions, to maintain proper ergonomics. To save a plumber's back, he or she must learn proper lifting procedures. Plumbing hazards that every plumber should look out for on the job. Plumbing can be a rewarding occupation, but it's also high risk, like any other job. Plumbers are frequently exposed to considerable hazards of body injury while performing their duties. To be on the safe side, they should be informed of the different safety hazards that their employment entails. Now, since we've got over all the essential PPE that all plumbers should have or need, we thought it would be only right to delve into some of the top hazards plumbers face on a daily basis. Exposure to hazardous materials. In the course of the work, plumbers come into touch with a variety of liquid and chemical substances. Most of these chemicals and other liquids are contaminated with hazardous substances that can cause serious harm if inhaled, swallowed, or come into touch with the skin. Plumbers, for example, must employ chemical sealants such as primers and glue to join metallic and plastic pipes in their operation. Toxic vapors are produced by these substances, which can cause serious lung damage if inhaled. Asbestos Asbestos exposure is the leading cause of lung cancer and affects a large number of people at work. According to Cancer Research UK, over 2,500 people in the UK die each year from mesothelioma, a cancer induced by asbestos exposure. The stats are very similar in both the United States and Australia, with asbestos being a very silent killer. Because plumbers often labor in sites with an unknown history, plumbers are frequently exposed to asbestos. For many years, asbestos was employed as pipe, pump, valve, and gasket insulation due to its fire-resistant properties. As a result, many tradesmen today are exposed to asbestos up to 100 times per year. That's a risk you should be aware of. Working at very tall heights. The most common cause of workplace accidents is working at a height. Working at heights safely necessitates the use of authorized harnesses and attachment points, as well as regular inspections and favorable weather. You might also utilize certified mobile scaffolding, fixed scaffolding, or a cherry picker as an alternative. Remember that ladders should only be used for brief periods of time, and that's under 20 minutes. Confined tiny spaces. Many people die unnecessarily each year while working in restricted areas. Frequently, numerous fatalities occur at the same moment. This occurs because plumbers take unnecessary risks or lack of the necessary training to access limited spaces safely. A confined space is a space that is not designed for humans to enter. They may have hazardous atmospheres with inadequate oxygen levels. They also tend to have limited entry and exit points. Storage tanks, boilers, silos, pits, pipes, sewers, and ducts are all examples. When working in tight spaces, it's it's critical to follow all industry laws and ensure you have the necessary equipment. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about plumbing PPE and all the correct safety gear that all plumbers need to be investing in now. It's no secret that pursuing a career in plumbing, just like any other trade, can come with its fair share of dangers and hazards. Regardless, plumbing is a relatively safe job as long as you take the right precautions. But make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. For example, did we miss any PPE for plumbers? Do you agree with our picks? Let us know. But if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content.